Turning now to the KMT's newly minted presidential candidate, Ho Yo Yi, who was back at work as city mayor on Thursday. Speaking to reporters, Ho promised not to let his campaign interfere with the running of New Taipei. When asked if he might take leave as mayor to focus on the race, Ho said that if he does, he will donate his salary and then some. One day after his nomination for president, new Taipei Mayor Ho Yo Yi was all business, though focused on city affairs. Even so, his double role as candidate and mayor sparked criticism from the Green Camp, with councillors urging him to apologize and step down as mayor. If Mayor Ho Yo Yi can't properly devote himself to being a mayor, then he should do what he did in 2018, when he resigned as deputy mayor to run for mayor. It simplifies matters. Resign as mayor to run for president. Since the ROC began direct presidential elections in 1996, the three mayors who stayed in office while running for president have all belonged to the KMT, Eric Chu, Han Guoyu and Ho Yo Yi, and the first two didn't fare well. Do the people of New Taipei owe it to the KMT to make this accommodation? The situation abroad is precarious, and a thousand things wait to be done at home. Someone who feels responsible for the country cannot turn a blind eye to this. They must step forward. The fate of the nation and the fate of New Taipei are closely entwined. So I will do my best to ensure that New Taipei keeps moving forward during this time. In the wake of Ho's nomination, supporters of Terry Go expressed their disappointment. Ho had this to say. I have tremendous admiration for Chairman Go. His three ideals of peace, prosperity, and integrity, I feel they're excellent. I have always emphasized one thing. Society must be fair, cross-strait relations must be peaceful, and the nation must be tranquil. Ho said that if he takes leave from his mayor's duties to campaign, he will donate his salary. I am dedicated to my country and to this society. I will donate my salary, plus an amount beyond that. Ho reiterated that he will not allow his campaigning to interfere with city affairs. He said he was confident in being able to lead the KMT back to power in 2024.